Welcome back to Giant Eye. Today I'm going to show you how to make the poly panel skirt. It's the perfect sewing project for a beginner. And not only is it super easy to sew, it's also super stylish and on trend. All you have to do is download the pattern from www.giantEye.com. <laughs> Let's get into it. To sew our poly panel skirt, you want to download the PDF pattern from GiantEye.com, either at home or in store. Then all you have to do is lay out your patterns and cut it out. If you don't know how to lay out your patterns on fabric, then you'll need to look at our previous video linked down below. Step 1. Grab your iron and fuse the interfacing to the backs of the facings. Overlock all edges of your pattern to make sure that there's no frame. We're going to start with pattern piece A and pattern piece B and we're going to sew these two together, matching the notches with a 1cm seam allowance. We're going to start up the top and work all our way down to the strip notch where we're going to do a back tack. Let's get sewing! So starting at the top, a 1cm seam allowance all the way down the length of A and B until we get to the slit notch. Then we're going to back tack and repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, now that the front pieces are all sewn together, we just need to do the exact same thing to the back, except we're gonna sew pattern piece D to pattern piece C, with right sides together and a one centimeter seam allowance, starting at the top and ending on the split notch. Now it's time to insert the invisible zipper. If you don't know how to do that, that's completely fine. I've got a whole other video on inserting invisible zippers linked down below. I'm just going to fly through it in these steps. <laughs> Now that you've got your invisible zipper in and both front and back pieces are ready to sew together. Sew both side seams at one centimetre seam allowance. Don't forget to do a back tack at the start and at the end. It's time to prepare the facings. To do this, we're gonna sew the side seams of the back facings to the front facings on both sides with a one centimeter seam allowance. Now that your facing is all sewn together, we're gonna to sew it to the garment. Before we do this, we wanna do a stay stitch with right sides together onto the back of the zip. Now that the facing has been stay stitched to the zip, it's time to sew the rest of the waistline. This takes the facing and puts it onto the garment. Make sure you match all the notches. But before we start sewing at one centimetre, you have to do a bit of a tricky turn. It's not that tricky, it's okay. You just have to fold at the zip, back, and then you're just gonna continue around at one centimetre. Let's do that.
Now that we're getting close to the end of the facing, we just have to do the exact same tricky twist that we did before, making sure the zip folds and roots. Now that the facing is attached to the garment, we're going to do an understitch at one millimetre around the waistline. On the facing side, so you can't see the understitch. If you don't know what an understitch is, I've also got another video on how to do different kind of stitches. That'll be linked down below. Okay, our skirt is so close to being finished. All we have to do now is press all our seams open and then we just have to hem our garment. This is how you want to hem your skirt. I just turned over one centimetre and then again at four centimetres and I just did a top stitch on the right side of the garment. But it's completely up to you. Another optional stitch you can do to make your skirt even more stylish is that you can pin stitch down each side of the split to just make sure it's really secure. And it makes a nice professional looking finish. And there you go, the poly panel skirt is all finished. It's super stylish and cute, you'll be rocking the streets. Don't forget to take a picture of your creation and tag at Giant Guy. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.